Hello friends, in this video lecture we are going to discuss energy banking which is another type of the interchange. So let us begin. So friends, in our previous lecture we have discussed some type of the interchange. Okay, we have one more type of the interchange. It is called as energy banking. Okay, it is very interesting to know this type of the interchange uh, because these type of the interchange are there between uh, the systems or the between the utilities having hydro system in them. Okay, so let us discuss here. See, energy banking agreement, uh, this type of the agreement are usually occur when predominantly hydro system is in the interconnected. Okay, so a predominantly thermal system so basically this energy banking type of the interconnections are done or this type of the agreements are there between hydro system and the thermal system okay in what sense they are having the agreement the name itself uh, suggests that energy banking okay we will get the idea why this such a name is given okay see uh, basically uh, the operation of the hydro system we know that for the pumped hydro system Okay, what we do is during the high water runoff period, the hydro system may have energy to spare and will sell it to the thermal system. Okay, when there is a water available in the upper reservoir, so hydro power system will have the energy. Okay, and that energy it can sell it to the thermal system. Okay, conversely, when water is not there in the upper reservoir, so what hydro system so the pumped hydro system has to do that has to import the energy okay during the low runoff okay this is very important to understand the working of the hydro power plant okay so this is actually done in the pumped hydro power plants okay again here the prices for such agreement are usually set by negotiating between the specific system involved in the agreement okay how the pricings are done okay sometimes what we do is with the pumped hydropower plant uh, during the peak time we turn on those plant and we start generation okay because during the peak time tariff will be high so we can earn we can make some revenue and during the low time okay during the off peak time uh, when the tariff will be low uh, specifically in the night time so in the night time we can pump back the water from lower reservoir to upper reservoir this is actually done in case of the pumped hydropower plant but when the hydropower plant if it is having the energy banking type of the interchange or energy banking type of the agreement with the thermal power plant so in that case how it is been done okay instead of accounting for interchange and charging each other for the transaction on the basis of hour by hour operating cost what actually done here is it is a common practice in some areas for utility to agree to a banking arrangement okay how this banking arrangement let's see whereby one of the system acts as a bank and another acts as a depositor okay sometime the hydropower plant will act as a bank or sometime it acts as a depositor or sometime the thermal station or the thermal system acts as a bank or sometime it acts as a depositor okay based on the situation what the situation can be let us discuss that see the bank now it doesn't mean that the hydro power plant or the hydro system is going to deposit some money now they are going to deposit the energy okay in terms of the megawatt hour okay so depositor would deposit the energy whenever it has surplus okay only in megawatt hour okay and uh, same thing will be accounted okay so let's say at some particular time the hydropower plant is having surplus generation so at that time what it, it can do it can deposit it can uh, give that generation to the thermal power plant Okay, in terms of this thing only, accounting is done in terms of the megawatt hour. Okay, 
then whenever the depositor needed the energy now as i said during the time when there is no water in the upper reservoir and if the water is there in the lower reservoir the hydropower plant need the energy to pump the water back from the lower reservoir to upper reservoir at that time what it can do let's say uh, during the generation it has deposited some amount of energy uh, in the thermal power plant so it can take back that deposited energy okay as it is needed in that case okay it would simply withdraw the energy up to megawatt it had in the account with the other system okay which is the banker or depositor depend on the exchange contract again it depends okay now let's say the thermal is having the excess generation sulfur generation in that case it can deposit the megawatt hour in hydropower plant okay let's say for pumping of the water from lower reservoir to upper reservoir so at that time when there is the requirement of the megawatt for the thermal power plant so it can withdraw that deposited megawatt hour from the thermal power plant so this way there is a banking type of the system so that is why this uh, type of interchange is called as energy banking okay we can say that here the role uh, either who is going to be the bank or who is going to be the depositor it depends okay on the contract how they have agreed with each other to have the interconnection okay again this role of either banker or depositor can be reversed okay as a function of time of the year okay so this is how the energy banking interconnection are done between the utilities thank you very much